making healthy choices as always with the beautiful Rose Reitzman. Good morning, Rose. Let's get to a cholesterol. A huge problem. Okay, cholesterol. Big, big problem today. 40% of Canadians have high cholesterol. What does that mean? When your arteries are clogged, that can lead to a heart, a stroke, a heart attack or a stroke. Wow. And I bring this along, my pound of fat. I love this. So oh. if you lose or you gain a pound, feel that, Dina. Heavy. It's yes. heavy. So why do I correlate this to the, often people who are overweight have high cholesterol. So first, let's do a little cholesterol 101. Let's look at the foods that are high in cholesterol. They're all animal based. And you saw before when we talked about chocolate, dairy comes from an animal. So look what we have here. We have eggs, these trans fats usually in these little cupcakes, ice cream, you've got cream, uh, marbled beef like a ribeye, okay, the fast Ram. food cheese, salami, so you see the foods that cause, does it mean not to have it? No, but you gotta watch your amounts, especially if your cholesterol but is high. But the meat and the cheese and the shrimp can't have as much as, let's say, ice cream and chocolate. Right. I didn't know that. You'd be surprised. That's what we're gonna take you through now. So let's take a look now at omelets. So every you know weekend we go for brunch to the restaurant, three egg omelet, okay, made with veggies, a little bit of cheese, usually cooked in butter, right? Comes in at 684 milligrams of cholesterol. So what are we supposed to have in a day, yeah. Dina? 300. 300. So that's double there. And if you already are overweight or have diabetes or already borderline uh, cholesterol, 200. Whoa. So right away, an omelet kills you. Okay. So that's triple the amount. That's if you're triple on that the line. amount. But you can get these wonderful items called egg beaters, or use egg whites and mix it with one yolk. That comes in made with a little bit of either uh, vegetable spray or oil with a little cheese, 30 milligrams awesome. versus the 684. And that's just with three eggs. When with you go out to eggs. lunch, sometimes there's it's, six eggs There's in there. so many eggs. All right, yeah. and so remember, keep it in your mind, 300 a day. So now okay. let's look at liver. Liver is great for iron, but it is one of the worst offenders in terms of cholesterol. Piece of liver like this, and people love liver. Do you like liver or no? no? Yeah, some people love it. 936 milligrams of cholesterol wow. in that piece. 300 is your daily. Guess what? You could have a top sirloin steak, not like the marbled one here. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have the fat marbled for 164 milligrams. Huge savings. Huge savings. 900 versus that. So now you'd say choose top sirloin for steak or filet mignon. Absolutely. Okay. You got. You're good, Dina. Okay. I from you. All right. Now we're going to Baskin Robbins. So vanilla shake sounds innocent. It's not chocolate. Mm. This vanilla shake is made with cream from all the ice cream, full fat milk. You're ending up with 300 milligrams of cholesterol. Your entire day wow. is right there. And you drink it. And you drink it. But wait, the banana Sunday Royale is only 85 milligrams of and sodium. Bananas. bananas in there, a little whipped cream, so you could have that, and that actually looks a lot better to me. Absolutely. So knowing your cholesterol numbers really will protect you from Don't clogging drink those your arteries. Calories, yes. Okay, let's go to Kelsey's and look at burgers. So typically a sirloin burger, very fatty meat, delicious. It's got cheese, it's got mushroom, special sauce. This comes in at 140 milligrams. Remember, 300 is your day. Okay. But the chicken, guess what? That's even fried chicken, because remember I told you oil doesn't affect your cholesterol. Fried chicken comes in at 55 milligrams. But oil affects the saturated fats. No, 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 no. no? Oil just gains, you'll just gain weight by Got oil. It. But oil is not a saturated fat. Okay. Anything from an animal. So you have to keep thinking animal. Got it. Okay. Monster. Now, this really bothered me because I love shellfish. The good thing is that it's not a saturated fat. This is where the exception comes okay. in. But shellfish, lobster, clams, crabs. crabs, mussels, they all are high in cholesterol. I was so depressed. So go to a restaurant and have a little bit of butter with what we would do 220 milligrams of oh, cholesterol man. and it's there's almost no there is no fat virtually in it and it's very yeah, low in calories it seems light. but if you are on the borderline of cholesterol and 40 percent of Canadians have high cholesterol you're gonna want to go with the tilapia or a snapper 60 milligrams of, of uh, cholesterol versus 220. For the one piece. Right. Now let's look, Dina, finish it off with the foods that can help raise your good cholesterol because we're talking about the LDL, the bad cholesterol. Look at all these foods that help. Red wine, yeah. Yay. We've got some red wine there that can absolutely help lower or raise your, your good cholesterol. Spinach, salmon with the omega-3 fatty acids, green tea mm -hmm. helps to raise your good cholesterol, rolled oats, Beans, beans, almonds, almonds, dark chocolate, dark chocolate. Now, why dark and not milk? It just milk. helps. To, well, there's not as much. It's it's more bitter. So you're right. That's more dairy. More dairy in it. That's going to help your good cholesterol. Okay, there you go. Now so, you know, guys. Healthy start, healthy one, but heart. it's good to know, huh? Thank you so much. I had no Thank idea. You. Yeah, vanilla Thanks, shake. Who knew? Uh, right now, over oh, at Rose Reisman on Twitter. Yep. RoseRiceman.com for more information online. Thank right you. now, we're to Melanie Ng in the newsroom.